Now, Way 31's Alexis Scott spoke with people in Huntsville after finding out this plan wasn't happening anymore. That's right. Alexis, what have people today been telling you? Yeah, many people I spoke with today say they are relieved the quarantine center is a no-go. They say they think centers like that are needed, but not in a place where the virus hasn't even been detected yet. They got to build it somewhere. They got to build it somewhere and uh, facility. I mean, better to have it than not have it. But. Zach O'Donnell supports the idea of learning more about this virus and ways to help those infected. But he says if the virus isn't here, why bring it to Alabama? It should alarm, or, you know, alarm some of us because, you know, it's close to us. Um, I think that uh, it can affect anybody. And Michael Pendergrass agrees. Saturday afternoon, officials announced a plan to have a center in Anniston for people who tested positive for the coronavirus but weren't showing symptoms. It was for passengers of the Diamond Princess cruise ship that was docked in Japan during an outbreak. Health officials wanted to monitor the virus closely, and if patients got worse, then they transfer them to a hospital. Am I immune to it? No, you know, anybody can get it. So I think that uh, you know it could affect all of us. Alabama Governor Kay Ivey made a statement in which she said the center was only to be used as a backup plan, as there were other states the Department of Health were looking at. But O'Donnell told me, if anything, he hoped there'd be a plan if the coronavirus were here in the Rocket City. If the coronavirus reaches Alabama, then we're going to need some facility in place. So I think so. On Twitter, Governor Kay Ivey thanked President Trump for having the support of Alabama and wants to assure people that the plan was never fully assessed to begin with. Reporting live in Huntsville, Alexis Scott, Way 31 News.